Hi, in this segment we're going to talk about the wide variety of hand planes that you'll find in woodworking shops. One of my favorites is the number five jack plane, and we'll get to that in a minute. But you'll also find these large joiner planes in a lot of shops, these block planes, rabbit planes are very useful, and this smoothing plane. If you own just one plane, this is probably the plane you're going to want to own. This is a Bailey number no. 5 Type 10 jack plane, and it was probably manufactured around 1907. They're easy to find and they're affordable, and most woodworkers will agree that these older planes are really a much better value than a plane you might find at your local home center. Jack planes are great for chewing up rough stock and getting it prepped for initial milling operations. Let's clear this area off we've got a little bit of room and I'll demonstrate how a jack plane works. It won't take long until you've got nice shavings coming off and you're going to have that board trued up pretty quick. If you only own one plane you might want to consider a jack plane. The next plane to consider having is the all-around utility player, one of these block planes. This happens to be a bronze bodied block plane and this is a pretty nice one, pretty high quality. Great for small tune-up work and they work particularly well on end grain. I happen to have two different kinds of block planes. One is a standard angle plane and this one is at 45 degrees and this one is a low angle plane at 37 degrees. So let's take it on a test drive real quick and we'll trim up some end grain. Got uh, a piece of, it, of uh, cherry here and what we're going to do is trim this end of the board off just ever so slightly. To prevent tear out on the back of that board what we're going to do is put a backer board, we'll hold it in place and tighten up the vise. Now let's take some light shavings here. Doesn't take long and it's completely trued up here and it's almost glassy smooth. Very nice. So yeah, a block plane, great thing to have. Next up in the greatest hits category is a rabbit plane. This is a wonderful plane for getting into tight corners, real useful for cleaning up tenons, either machine or hand cut, or you can use it to clean up rabbits. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this one works. Let's take our end grain sample out of the vise, remove that, get it out of the way, and I've got a sample of a rabbit cut in a small piece of cherry. Let's go ahead and tighten that in the vise. And this edge here was machine cut on a table saw. It's kind of rough and you can even see some of the burn marks here. What we do is grab the rabbiting plane and reference it against this vertical edge here in this case and we just press our way right on through. A couple of passes. and as you can see the burn marks are gone. So great, great tool for cleaning up rabbits, fine-tuning things without having to put it back on a machine again. Much more accurate. Another thing that you can do with a rabbit plane is you can clean up a tenon. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. As you can see we've got a, a piece of cherry with a tenon cut on it. We'll put it in the vise and there's a little bit of a ridge here. We can come through and clean it up. Really nice. So this is a really great versatile all around plane and one I'd recommend that you consider for your toolbox. The next plane I want to have us look at is the smoothing plane. Now this is wonderful for cleanup and final finish work. The smoothing plane is great for removing machine marks left by 
stationary planers and joiners, those nasty ribbed lines that are left no matter what you do, no matter how sharp your machines are. So pick up a smoothing plane and run it over your final project piece before you grab your sandpaper. And in some cases, you don't even need to grab your sandpaper. You're going to end up with a finish that's so smooth. Let's take a look at how this works. This is what I wanted to show you. Look at this. It's fantastic. Very thin. It's translucent. So these paper thin shavings come off that smoothing plane and it really leaves a great finish to your project. The last plane I want to show you is the joiner plane. Now this is one big plane and most shops, most typical shops may not, might not have this one but if you're doing large-scale work, if you're doing a workbench, you're doing doors, that sort of thing, this can really come in handy in truing things up. And you'd be surprised at how smooth and precise this plane is. I'm going to go ahead and go over that piece of hard maple that we just ran a smoothing plane test on and see how it looks. Pressing down on the forward part. Yeah. I'm registering at either end of the board there's a little bit of a bow to it. So that middle area is concave and if I go over this enough times the joiner plane is going to take that concave out and leave a perfectly flat board. So these are hand planes that should be among any woodworkers top five list.